Welcome back, everybody. We want to get to breaking news. A vote from the city council on the police budget uh, after this long debate of defunding the police. Chris Daniels has been following this and joins us now. What's the latest, Chris? was about to vote and they did by a vote of seven to one to trim the funding for the Seattle Police Department, not defunding, not a 50% cut, but some trims, including to the navigation team, which takes care of the homeless population and outreach, as well as 32 officers from patrol. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars rather than millions of dollars. One of the council members, Teresa Mosqueda, calling it a down payment towards a bigger renovation of the Seattle Police Department. Also a resolution today, which spells out really a year long process for the council to work with the mayor and the chief on re envisioning the Seattle Police Department that may also include a public vote in November of 2021. But the headline just now in the last 15 minutes, yes, there will be trims to the Seattle Police Department, including in multiple departments, but it is not, not what activists had asked for amongst all the protests here in Seattle. Reporting live, I'm Chris Daniels. Back to you. Yeah, it's actually not even close, uh, Chris. I'm curious, the chief's been asking to see a plan. Ultimately, she's the decider of the budget, even with the suggestions from the council. They can decide the cut, but has she seen a plan? Yeah, and that's been one of the big sticking points when you talk to the council, you talk to the mayor, you talk to the chief. It doesn't seem like they were really working together through this process. One of the things that was a bit of a surprise today after some outcry over the weekend is an amendment to an amendment by the council to not cut the police chief's pay by over $100,000. Lisa Herbold today said that she acknowledged that was an error on her part, so they amended that part of the legislation to Chief Bess and the senior staff as well. So many more questions uh, like this idea of a public vote. Not enough time, which means we're going to have to talk to you in our next hour, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> okay.